private health insurance companies and mutual schemes. These insurance companies have also invested heavily in government bonds. So if they are not exempted and all of them are zero rated and are following the same pattern, they are going to have liquidity challenges, which will mean that they will default on paying claims to hospitals. And that's where the trouble begins. You have seen what the challenges are with NHIS when they delay in payment of claims. So if the private insurance companies also delay, then hospitals are not able to pay for drugs, are not able to pay for consumables, are not able to pay for supplies. Then this is going to cascade into shortages of these very vital consumables that we need to deliver health services. And the shortage may be nationwide. It will mean that you may even have the money, you want to buy a particular drug, out of packet, but you will not get it because the, pay, the people who import it are owed so much by the insurance companies that they will not be able to import the drug or those who manufacture it may be owed so much that they cannot manufacture. If you will cast your mind back not too long ago, the Pharmaceutical Manufacturers and Importers Association of Ghana came up to threaten that they were not going to sell any of their product to us on insurance. Everything was going to be cash and carry. And this was because of the rate of inflation and the instability of the city against the dollar. They were losing out so much. That is something that is still being worked on. And now this comes in, which means that the insurance companies are going to default if no safety net is provided. And the long-term effect is what we are seeing. And we are talking about that governments should look at it. When they met the regulators of various um, financial sector um, uh, agencies. We are not even aware if the NHIA, which is the regulator of these private health insurance companies, were part of that meeting and what type of safety nets they designed to uh, protect this unique group so that healthcare delivery is not hampered. So it will start with those who are having the card. And if they default in paying the hospitals, when you show up there, the hospital will say pay cash. But that will be for you who is a card holder. But to the general people who are not even members of that insurance scheme, if this default goes on for long, then the hospitals are not going to meet up their obligations. If that happens, what is going to happen is that then drug supplies, consumable supplies will be a challenge. And this is going to affect almost everybody, not even those who carry only private insurance card or the national health insurance cards.